It's a Mini Prince Mini Build. Today, we're going to build this cool microwave curing chamber. First, a little word of introduction. I'm Bernard Helen from Mini Prince. I make 3D prints. And part of the 3D printing process is curing them. For the last two years, I've used this. This is a homemade curing chamber that I've made out of a Costco coffee can and one of these 405 nanometer lights that you can get off of eBay or Amazon. These are 60 watt lights. They cure the resin, which is part of the post-processing. You just plug it in, build yourself a container. Perfectly usable, and as I say for the last two years, I've been using a modified version of this. It works, it works beautifully. You just take the item you want to cure, place it on the uh, countertop, put it over top and give it a couple of minutes, depending on the size of the print. However, found something that might be a little bit more interesting. Microwave. Now the microwave's got a few things going for it. You can set a timer, two minutes, one minute, 30 seconds. Has a rotating dish on the inside that spins and it has a light. So is it possible to take the benefits of a microwave, turn it into a UV curing chamber and eliminate some of the problems with this one? Being the fact that I have to rotate manually with this and there's a size limitation. So let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can turn this old scrap microwave into something useful. So first off, and this is important, you need to know what you're doing. There are things inside a microwave that not only can kill you, but they will kill you. Uh, every year apparently people do die uh, taking apart microwaves, and these things are extremely dangerous. So if you don't know what you're doing, you can do a couple things. Ask someone who does, stop watching right now, just don't do it or do what I did, watch a lot of YouTube videos. So, I'm not necessarily the poster child for this. I'm still here, which is good, uh, but I learned by watching what other people said. There are a few parts, once you open up the back of the microwave, that you need to be very aware of. So I'm not gonna give you all of the information here. I'm gonna give it to you in broad strokes, and I urge you, please do your own research, know what you're doing, and I am not suggesting by any stretch of the imagination that you should do this. And I'm certainly stating that if you do do it, you better know what you're doing. Three things need to come out of a microwave. And the good news is that they're pretty standard. They look the same on all microwaves. There's something called a magnetron. This is the item that basically heats your food with electromagnetic radiation, basically. It, it, it's the radiation generator. It's called a magnetron. It's harmless once you take it out, but you have to do it properly. The second item that needs to come out is the transformer. This is a transformer that takes your 120 volt and steps it up to a much higher voltage. Uh, does it say what it does on this? It doesn't. These are very heavy. They're about 10 pounds, 10 to 20 pounds in weight. Uh, they uh, are worth a lot of money apparently, so you can sell them. Uh, a lot of people scavenge microwaves specifically for these parts. Uh, it's something that you don't need and needs to come out of your microwave. And the third part, and this is the part that could kill you if you don't know what you're doing, is this. This is a high voltage capacitor and it holds 3000 volts. This one right here, uh, this one says 2100 volts. So anywhere from two to 3000 volts. If you don't know what you're doing, and if this is not properly discharged, and if you open up a microwave, this could, and in some instances, has killed people. So know what you're doing. Okay, so here we've got the microwave with the guts removed. The magnetron went right here. It's missing, it's gone. The power transformer was right here. It's gone. And over here, behind this protective barrier was the capacitor and it's gone. What we're left with, which is quite good, is we've got the fan here. So this is the fan. Just move this around for you to see. So there's the fan. We've got the control board here. 
We've got the light of the microwave here. And these are the power leads here that ran, that went into the transformer and ran the magnetron. So the plan is, and the theory of it is, that if we connect our UV light, our 405 nanometer light that we got on Amazon to these power leads that controlled the magnetron, when we program the microwave for 30 seconds, the fan should still work, the timer should work, the light should work, it should rotate, but instead of active activating the magnetron, when we turn it on, it will activate this lamp, providing a beautiful curing chamber. Let's do some tests. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is plug it in. Okay, that's a good sign. We didn't see anything pop. Okay, so we plugged it in, that's a good sign. Look at that, we've got lights. So I didn't remove anything too bad. Let's see if we can set the clock. All right, it's 12.55 p.m. This is a really good sign. Now, a couple things we wanna do. Let's open it up. Ho, 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 ho. All right, second thing we're testing. Look at that. We got a light. Light activated when the door opened. Turned off when the door closed. Okay, so we've got, this is good. The control board's working, the light's working. Okay, one more thing I wanna check. I'll put the turntable back into the microwave. Okay, the turntable's back in the microwave. I'm gonna close the door and wish me luck because I'm gonna put it on for 30 seconds. Now two things, one of two things are gonna happen here. It's gonna work or it's not. If it doesn't work, this could be spectacular. If it does work, I will be very happy. So let's do easy on. Oh boy, that's good. Lights on, timers counting down. Fans running. Let's see if it stops. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, two. Okay, that was a successful test. So, before going any further, very important. I'm gonna unplug it. Now remember, there are no capacitors in here, or not, no major capacitors. So I'm not gonna fool around with the insides anymore, but it should be safe. Now I'm gonna cover the inside with reflective metal tape. Some people apparently use tin foil. I have this duck tape, which is I guess the real tape they use for duct work which is a, a very shiny silver metallic. So I'll just be covering the entire inside of this with the metal tape. Remember, there's no more radiation in here, so there's no problem with using metal in a microwave now. I hope. Okay, so here you can see I'm enlarging the hole where the magnetron used to go. And this is where I'm gonna put the UV lamp. But remember, you're cutting metal and you're cutting metal with the power tool. And uh, I don't wanna breathe it in and I also don't wanna get it in my eyes. So just be careful. This is, this is, yeah, just be careful.
not bad. Not bad at all. That's gonna work. Okay, so happy accident number one. Uh, the hole that I made just perfectly fit the uh, UV light. And uh, I don't have to uh, contact cement it because it just pried right in it. It fit in beautifully. So uh, I'm just gonna seal up some of these holes. And then I'll just continue to, uh, to tape this in place uh, with uh, metallic tape. So absolutely by far the most time consuming and worst part of this entire build has been lining the inside of the microwave oven with this aluminum foil tape. It's, uh, it's a real pain to use. Uh, it's a real pain to peel. Uh, and um, it's expensive and it's time consuming. So I think if I were to do this again, uh, I would probably just uh, spray adhesive into the inside of the microwave oven uh, and put down like a single large sheet of aluminum foil. I, uh, I don't know why I'm bothering wasting my time with this ridiculous tape, which is unbelievably difficult to handle and uh, super crazy expensive. Anyway, top tip, if you attempt to build, let me know what you use uh, and hopefully you'll have better luck than I did with this aluminum tape. Okay, so the foil is done. Microwave plugged in. I'm going to do a quick test of the UV light, which I've just plugged in. I haven't actually wired it in yet. So it looks good. UV light's working. I'm going to close the door. And let's give it 30 seconds and see what happens. That looks good. Let's see if we can see right inside the little window. All right, well, take my word for it. The turntable is rotating. All right. And let's turn off the UV light. Okay, so there's one last thing to do. Okay, so I guess the last thing to do here is to do the wiring. And then once the wiring is complete, uh, I can just close up the back and finish the project. So everything's unplugged. I'm gonna snip the cord on the 405 nanometer plug. Just for whatever sake, I'll snip it before. There we go. So I, I snipped it here. And I snipped it before the switch. I don't know why, but I just did. And then I see my two wires inside. So I just have to split these, splice them and tape them to here, and we're off. We're good. We're good to the races. Okay, so the electrical is now connected. So here's a moment of truth. I'm going to plug in the microwave. Turn it on. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Something did not work. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. So I reversed the wires and it works. Everything's great. Okay, so let me finish cleaning this up and then I'll show it to you.
crispy. Okay, so let's get the cover back on here. That's the hardest part of the entire build. Get the screws back in. And that's it. That's uh, my new curing station. I think this will really improve uh, the workflow. Make life a lot easier uh, in terms of UV curing. No more setting timers. The timer's built in. The turntable's built in. And I guess we'll only really know uh, whether it's an improvement uh, after we've used it for a couple days. Uh, but I'm excited. Uh, I think this was a, a really good build. And uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, coming along for the ride. One more screw in here at the top. And then I'm gonna call this project officially complete. So now that it's all screwed in and put back together. Okay. Looks good. Good. Set the time. 5.05. Timer. No. Stop. Clock. PM. 5.05. Start. Alright everyone. There we go. Microwave UV curing chamber. That was fun. Okay, everyone, I realized that there's one last thing that I needed to do. Needs a little bit of a bling on it. There we go. Now I'm calling that project complete.